Hey everyone, it's Amanda. I'm trying to do a little bit of adjusting here. Um, we are going to do another slime video. So I got a lot of positive feedback on it, so we're going to try another one. If I can get my camera to stay there. Um, this one is actually going to be a Disney-inspired slime. We're going to do a Beauty and the Beast um, gold glitter slime. And then we got these really cool, I don't know if you can see them, red roses to add to it. And this is probably one of the easiest slime recipes that you can make. So I'm super excited because I've been working with Elmer's Glue. Um, and they sent me a really cool package not too long ago that had several of their new glues. Um, they have this really pretty gold. We've got the silver which we're going to do another slime for Christmas and we're going to do a silver and gold. Um, they've got this black glitter slime. I feel like you can't see it very well. Um, this is going to make a really cool kind of, you know, like a galaxy slime starter. So there's that. But they also have some awesome glow in the dark slimes, which we made, <clears throat> excuse me, we made glow in the dark slime not too long ago. I need to get it posted um, we just haven't had time yet, so I'm going to turn off some of the lights. So this glue, that the new glue from Elmer's, they make it super easy because it's already in there. Let me see if I can turn off the lights. It's pretty bright for, since it's during the day, but we'll see if we can get it to glow a little bit. There you go. You can see it already starting to glow. Um, we have made glow-in-the-dark slime with... Um, like glow in the dark beads we've done, glow in the dark paint added to slime. Um, but I will say that the Elmer's glow in the dark, I've never had one glow that bright. So if you're looking for one, you can pick that up. They have it and this is just like their natural color. I feel like it's not super natural, but, um, I think we got a pink one that glows orange and a blue one that glows green. Don't quote me on those. But anyways, today we're going to make the Beauty and the Beast slime. So you're going to need the Elmer's glue for gold for Belle's dress. You're going to need baking soda. You're about to hear our dogs, I think. Um, the saline contact solution. And then these are just resin roses. You can pick them up at the craft store. All right. And water. It's the pretty basic of the basic slime recipes. So you're just going to take a container and you're going to pour out your gold glitter or gold glitter glue. I'm also trying to take a picture so you're going to hear my camera go. Now I will say these glues are thicker than the traditional glue. All we use for our slimes, we use um, Elmer's for all of our slimes. But these glues, because they have the additives to it, are a little bit thicker. And so sometimes they can be kind of hard to get out of the bottle. That is probably my biggest glue as I throw it. And only complaint. So sometimes I cut them, cut the bottles off on the bottom. Obviously your kids will need help on this part. And then see because we've got a lot of glue in, in there. And then we need to take like a spatula and kind of scoop it out. Because if your kids are like ours, like they want the biggest batch of slime that they can make. I know Casey's going to be, like, stoked to get this one because it's actually the glitter. You can add your own glitter. This is a super fine glitter, but when you buy the glitter glues, they're, like, super, super sparkly. Okay. So once you get your glitter out, you're just going to add half a cup of water, which I already have in this cup. And then you're just going to stir it around. I 
Hey guys. And it looks like it's like kind of crumbling, but that's okay because it will come together. Ooh, so I make a mess. You want to keep stirring until like all the pieces in there because you're kind of breaking down the glue right now. All right, so once that's like all mixed together, we are going to add, I can hear Dustin just turn on the dryer so it might get loud. Um, half a teaspoon of baking soda. And baking soda is going to determine the thickness of your slime. So you can start with a little bit less and add more towards the end if you need to. I'm just gonna give that a quick stir. It doesn't need to be super stirred yet. And then we're going to take your saline solution. This is just a cheap Walmart brand. Honestly, we've used quite a few different brands, but this generic cheap one works probably one of the best that we've gotten. So. And I start with a tablespoon. And then you're just gonna stir it and it should, you'll see it like instantly start, I think I'm shaking the whole camera there, um, start to form here. See how it's starting already? So it will start pretty quick. This is always like the younger kids like favorite part probably our older kids favorite part too of getting it to form up like that there we go and you're just going to stir it a little bit so it's all pulling apart from the sides of the bottle or the container here Add a little bit more if you need it. I'm trying to work over the camera here. There it goes. It shouldn't be sticky. Your saline solution is going to determine the thickness. Can you see it all? It's really glittery. Let's see if I can pull it over here. The light's not the best. Now I got slimy ends. So you're gonna knead it for just a second. See how glittery it is? These Elmer's glitter glues work really well. We are super happy with them. And like I said, the glow in the dark ones are really cool. They have um, glow in the dark kits that you can get. I'll put all the links. Um, in the comments and above once we get our hands free of the slime. And then later today, hopefully, if not tomorrow, um, we will have the full recipe, I guess not a recipe, the full instructions printed off so you can get them on our website. Let me move that out of the way. So your slime, it doesn't take much kneading see it. It's stretchy, but it doesn't really stick. And this is like the perfect color for Belle's dress that she wears. And to make it just a little bit more beating the beast, we're going to add oh boy, black jam. There we go. We're going to add the rose. Like I said, these are just fun um, resin roses. There it goes into zoom. Because you don't get much more Beauty and the Beast than a gold slime with the rose. So, 
we will get this all up on the website and for you guys to be able to print it off. Make sure you say hey. Um, go ahead and share it. We have, oh my gosh, we have so many slimes coming out. Um, we have a few more of our Halloween fall slimes. I know we've got a pumpkin spice latte slime that we're getting ready to post. Um, we did the pumpkin get slime. We have, gosh, I don't even know, a spiderweb slime up right now. But we have been full blown Christmas slime mode in our house lately. So we have like snowball slime and snowman slime. There's gingerbread. So if you have kids that love slime, make sure that you are following along because we have a ton of it coming. We'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.